Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having an amazing day. Y'all, I did a thing. I went to Hobby Lobby today. <laughs> Funny story. I woke up today and I knew that I didn't have anything to do and I was off and honey was home with me. So I kind of went, I was like, hey, honey. He's like, yeah. I was like, you know, I don't have like any girlfriends I can go shopping with. He's like, yeah. I was like, and you know how you're like my best friend? He's like, yeah. I was like, can we have like an Amanda day? And and like go craft shopping and go try to find ribbon for the tree when with like you know how I want to change the style he's like uh-huh and I was like can, can we go find some ribbon he's like ah oh, yes okay we gotta go out anyways so y'all we stopped at Hobby Lobby and I found so many great stuff I'm so excited to share it with you so uh, and y'all okay I gotta tell you how Hobby Lobby went with honey <laughs> because he has he's maybe been in there with me like one or two times um and I tell you what so he texts me we're probably in there for 45 minutes and he texts me and he's like hey where you at and you know I could have been at 15 different places by the time I actually respond and let him know where it was so I let that man walk up and down the aisles trying to find me <laughs> so that I could buy a little bit of time to go do a little bit more shopping because I wasn't done yet. He was trying to rush me. So I said, I'm on a goose chase. <laughs> you know what I mean? So finally, by the time I knew I was, you know, getting close to being done, I texted him and I said, I'll meet you at the register. <laughs> It was so funny. Shh, don't tell him, okay? It's our little secret. Oh my gosh, it was so fun. So anyways, he was done. He was ready to be out there. I found some great fall clearance. You guys aren't going to believe it, but I wanted to show you guys this sweet little darling first. Isn't she everything? So this year I want to do more like woodland, um, snowy creams, burlaps, dark greens with a pop of red. And that's what I'm after. And she screamed that. So she's vintage. She's country. She's primitive. Even she's, she's just everything I was looking for. We got our little woodland creature. We got the snow, everything. I wasn't sure if I wanted to buy her or not because I knew I was spending a pretty penny and once again honey was with me so I had to watch it and behave um <laughs> but I was at the register and I was kind of holding her to the side and I was like I don't know I'm gonna see what my total is before I decide if I want her or not and I was like okay what's my total she goes $99.50 without her right and I was like oh, okay I think I'm gonna wait and next thing I know she's ringing her up and I'm like ah so then she tells me my total again she's like 105 something I'm like Oh, I thought I was gonna, never mind. It's meant to be. Leave her in there. She's going home with me. So look at her. Is she not everything? She is so sweet. And I'm so glad that I did get to bring her home. She was originally $13.90 or $11.99. So she was like six bucks, um, maybe five something, but it's so, so sweet. Look at her little hat. Her little dress is polka dots. Her little vintage shoes. <gasps> so, so cute. But you guys know that I love to name my little creatures. So we have to think of a name for her. I think I want to call her Amelia, but I don't know about her little friend. So you got to let me know down in the comments down below. What do you think? All right, you guys. So let's dive on into the fall. I am so excited to show you guys. I got deco mesh for a dollar, y'all. And look, this is not just fall deco mesh. This is literally any season because it's burlap and white. Such neutral colors. I got four of them, of course. I got every one that they had because this, I thought with this deco mesh that I would do a wreath and then it um, change out the signs for it in the season so it could go with any seasons. So like if it's Easter, just put an Easter sign in the middle. I, I mean, if I stuck with burlaps and white, that could literally work, right? I know I have a wreath for every season, but I know somebody else would probably love that. And then you guys look at this wooden crate. It was $13.99. I think I ended up giving like almost three bucks for it. That is not bad. I don't think I'll paint it, but maybe put something decorative here on the side or I don't care. It's cute. It, there's so many dang things I can do with this dang thing. Like so many things. And then I also found some beaded garland, um, the berry garland. And these can be expensive. So I was so excited to find this for 75% off. I think I ended up giving like a dollar for it. Not bad, right? 
And then y'all, I hit the mother, mother load, the mother load of beads. Y'all, I'm so excited about this. Can you hear it in my voice? I would have done a face-to-face -face because I'm so excited about everything that I found today. However, my craft room's messy and I'm in my pajamas, so sorry, y'all. But anyways, I found the mother load. Y'all, these were literally, I think, a dollar a piece. And what I was thinking, so like I just said, I want to go woodland and a lot of my stuff could be like um is burlap country how cool is this to find Rita garland for a dollar for the christmas tree i am literally gonna put this on the christmas tree and if i don't like it or if i got too many then i have beads for days for projects i think i got one two three four five i got five of them is that not a steal of a deal y'all i got every i think i know there was a bunch left I literally could not believe it. There was a bunch left, but I believe they're six foot. And I don't know if there's any newer crafters out there. This is the best way to buy your beads is through Hobby Lobby when they're on sale. Because even at $5.99 with 40% off and as many beads as you get, that's what a lot of us crafters, or that's what a lot of crafters do. I don't know who this us is. Like I'm part of the big wig crafters. <laughs> no, but that's what we do. And it's a great and expensive way to get your bead collection up. So yeah super excited about that y'all come on that's for the christmas tree and i paid a dollar a dollar a strand come on look at these ladders this is also so cool because i can turn this into christmas they were two dollars a piece and i almost bought these for fall too y'all i couldn't believe it that they still had them um i don't know if i'm gonna leave two, both of them separate or glue them together and make it one big ladder up the tree. <gasps> How cute would that be? Oh my gosh. But if I leave it separate, it'll be one for me and my sister. Um, these are really great with a tea towel and a wreath. Or I'll put greenery on them. Whatever the case. My sister has a counter room for them. I really don't. I maybe do with the shelves. But... I am pumped, y'all. If you have time to go to your Hobby Lobby, go check out the fall stuff. I mean, when it's 75% off, you still get a really good deal. And it's not picked over. They still had picks. They had bags of pumpkins, beautiful pumpkins. Um, when it, I think it when it goes to 90% off is really when it's all picked over. But that's a lot of my decor I got last year on clearance too. So if you have time to stop, go check it out because it's some really good finds. So that is it for the fall. Now for the Christmas, y'all, these are stunning. And I almost, I've been wanting to pick them up. I've debated it. I don't know why. Um, because $12.99, you'd get six major snowflakes. And how I justified it is that you get six of them for six bucks. So a little over six bucks. And the Dollar Tree is, is still cheaper than the Dollar Tree. But aren't they stunning? They're real thin. And I love that little glitter on there because once the light hits it, it's going to reflect off of it beautifully. Is it shining on camera like I want it to? But yeah, I've, I've eyeballed these a few times and I almost didn't even pick them up today. But then I thought, ugh. And I told Kev, I was like, babe, I've been wanting those and I think they're going to go with the decor that I want to change over to really, really well. And I just don't know. And I walked away from, went back, walked away. He goes, go get that dang snowflakes. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. If he says it's okay, we getting them. We definitely getting them. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to apologize in advance for the bag. I seen our sweet little friend Tracy at Country Charm. Uh, I forget what it is, but she did the most beautiful project with this, um, with these stockings, these wood cutouts, and I cannot wait to do it and do my spin on it because it turned out so beautiful, y'all. So, so pretty. Go check her channel out for that. I've linked her in, a, in my videos a couple of times. And it wouldn't be a Hobby Lobby haul without picks. Y'all, you see that sparkle? I love these picks. I only picked up two of them because I thought they'd be more beautiful in projects than to put them in the tree. Um, I wish I would have found more of those champagne colored ones. But I didn't find them. I wasn't thinking about it. I'm a dingbat. And these. Oh, 
I'm just, I don't know what I'm thinking. I don't know if I want to go, I want to go cream some burlap, but I don't necessarily want to go gold. Um, I feel like gold is so played out. Gold is for those girls that are modern and all that, but I, that's not me. I want rustic Christmas, but I did find these and I thought that that this colored gold could have went with burlap a lot better. And then I found these beautiful ivory ones. Oh, I can't wait to do the tree. I can't wait. I'm getting excited. Y'all, before this, I really wasn't, um, like, feeling the Christmas spirit. spirit blah, 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 blah. Christmas spirit. However, I'm slowly getting there. It's stuff like this that really helps me feel it. Uh, everybody in my neighborhood are starting to put up Christmas lights. The weather's really good here. Um, last year at this time, I already had my tree up and the house decorated. And I don't know what it is. This year, I'm just really not feeling it. But I am loving... I'll lo I can shop for anything at any time, y'all. That is something I can really do. But I'm starting to get excited. Now these. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. So this is also gold. I know. But it's not. I don't want you to look at this as gold. I want you to look at it like the burlap color. More of a cream champagne, you know. Look at them though. I think these just popping out of the tree. And I just love that they're like a burst. Oh my gosh, I think it'll add so much texture. I'm excited about it, to be honest with you. But boy, are they a mess. I still have glitter on my face from earlier today trying to get these suckers <laughs> out. I can't, look at this, the glitter on this. I'm gonna have to find somewhere to put these until I'm ready to use them because they are a hot mess. I think I might even go um, spray them with hair. Uh, hey, hey y'all, you can help me. What do I do to make sure that the glitter stays on these folks? Because they are bad. We're going to put them right up in here. Along with these little suckers. Because these... Yeah, those ones shed too. What can I do to help them not shed? I think hairspray is one, of, one thing you can do. But I'm going to leave them in that bag until I figure it out. Because, <laughs> oh my gosh. And then, y'all, look at these. Oh, look at these. Look at these. Look at these. I debated and debated if I was going to get these or not. I'm I'm curious as the texture, if they're going to be soft. Yeah, they're pretty soft. They got a little bit of glitz to them. See the sparkle? But, yes, this is the this with pops of red and green. Like, does it go? Does it go? Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. I'm so excited. I am so flipping excited. Yes. Okay. So we got those and boy, did those stink to high heaven. And then I also got these. I got these because these are more of a brighter red than the other beaded garlands. And I really liked that it looked like a tree. I figured this on a piece of wood. Um, I thought it was really pretty. I don't know. It just really spoke to me. And I even went like this and you can do curly curl curly cues with them so i like that they're on a pick and not on a strand and yeah i grabbed two of them and these ones were a dollar fifty so not bad right and then i got some ornaments y'all look oh my gosh are you seeing this look looky lucky this is also so much of what i'm looking for i already have so many red ornaments and I really, what I like about switching to this theme is, I'm going to leave it in there. They're 3D. What I like about switching to this theme is that the buffalo check, oh, excuse me, the buffalo check and the um, red and black check really goes well with this as well. So I can transition into that easily without it being too expensive and all at once. And then each year, I buy an ornament for my boys. This year, I'm not going to put names on them. I'm just going to put 2023. So they have an ornament for every year that we've been together for 13 years. So it, this is going to be their ornament this year. And I really like these. I really do. So, so cute. But y'all, look at these little woodland creatures. They match the foxes really well. Last year was the boys' ornaments for the foxes. And I really like that this is a pack of four because I got four boys. You guys know it, so it works out great. But look how adorable. We have a white and then a brown. So I'm just kind of going more whites and pops of brown and all that stuff. You guys, if you ever see me go like this in my videos, since I've lost the weight, um, my rings are constantly twisting and it drives me insane, drives me nuts. So if you see me going like that, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to twist those rings back because Lord mercy, they drive me nuts. 
All right, here is the last of it. <gasps> so pretty. So I got another table runner and this one is to match the table, um, the placemats that I got last year that had the woodland creatures, the deer and the, the, like it just goes it all is a theme y'all duh amanda but this is gorgeous it's thin it's double-sided and it's washable so that i'm able to wash it because my kids are very messy and they use my table all the time all right guys that is it for my hobby lobby haul i am so excited to get to crafting um like i said I think I'm going to wait. I, so I filmed this, or I, my intro I've done so many times. I don't know if I said this or not, but I'll just clarify at the end here. My, uh, blah, 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 blah. hi, my name's Amanda. I always mess up my words. <laughs> so my craft room tour, I am going to wait until after the holidays to put that up because I have a two Timo hauls, a part one and a part two, and those are Christmas related. I have this video to go up. I have a birthday card video to go up, but that might actually wait until the holidays too. I have um, lots of projects on getting ready to pump out that I'm super excited about too as well. And yeah, so I just want to say bear with me. I'm going to probably reference the dang craft room um, tour a lot. So I don't want you to be like, well, where's this thing craft room tour at? You know what I mean? So it'll probably wait until after the holidays. Cause I'm actually doing really well with getting down here and filming videos for you guys. And the last thing I wanted to mention too, I found the coolest, uh, label maker on Amazon for 10 bucks y'all it is rechargeable it's an app that you download all you do is turn it on put it on your app and then you send it to this little guy and it prints off right here and it has a cutter on it and i'll tell you what it's it's really a game changer plus they have other colors if anybody's interested in this little guy let me know down below in the comments and i'll um add the link to the description box the, like it is waterproof the labels are waterproof I couldn't believe it it was so so dang cool so yeah but anyways that is all I will talk at you guys later thank you so much for hanging out with me for another Hobby Lobby haul um and yeah I'm so excited to see what you guys think of our little Emilia and what do you guys think her friend's name shall be but until next time I will talk at you later bye bye now